We are, today I am going to show you um, a flip through of my December journal. And this is, um, I guess you would consider this a junk journal, but I do have my bullet journal papers in here, which I'll show you. Um, and I want to show you how you can make this for, gosh, less than a couple of dollars. Now I used, except with the exception of two things in this book, I think. Um, in this journal. I used um, everything that I had around the house. Now, a caveat is that I did homeschool my children for over 40 years. I've been homeschooling, so I have lots of art material around the house and scraps and, you know, different things like that, which um, I'll show you as we go. Um, but so, you know, some of the stuff you will probably have laying around your house if you have had children. Um, if not, it's easy to get these supplies and just use what you have at home. Um, you might just have to decorate a little bit more if you don't have a lot. So as I said in another video that I had, um, my journal, my bullet journal that I love is the Exceed uh, by Walmart. So here we have um, August, September, October, and November, which I'll do my flip through of this um, soon up to the end of October and middle of October. I'm pretty much through writing for October, so I'm out of pages to write on. I think I've got like two pages left to write on for October, and I do journal, actual, this kind of journaling a lot. So I am going to um, have to add, so what I do then is I'll add on pages and just keep adding on or um, inserts and things like that, or I'll write in another journal. I have a spiritual journal and I'll probably switch things to that. And I also have a, a book journal, an altered book journal. So I'll probably put some in there and things like that. So anyway, what I wanted to show you was that um, the stops in November and I didn't, uh, in the last video I explained, I didn't want to start a whole new journal starting December and then January, February, March of the next year. So I want to start the next one in January because if I start in January, I'll have three books because it seems that I'm doing one, two, three, four months in each book. So if I'm doing four months in a book, then I could have three books each year. So I didn't want to have that off be off again for next year because I didn't start journaling until uh, the middle of February and I didn't start in a bullet journal until later on. I think it was April was my first month that I actually journaled in bullet journal books. So what I did, this is a Duncan Hines or this is a, a cake mix box. It might have been uh, cupcakes maybe. I cut down the back a little bit more because it was a little bit too wide for me for what I wanted because I only wanted to have three signatures in here. And these signatures I didn't sew. So what I did was I took the paper, this I did buy, this is 99 cents at Michael for this sheet of paper. And again, I forgot, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I always forget to glue the, the inside. I'm always so good at gluing here on the edges and then I didn't glue in here. And this is like the third book I've made like that, what I always forget. So it's got like air pockets in there, which is fine because it's only for one month, right? This is washi tape that I put on here because I laid this out in three sections. So I had one piece of the box here, another piece of the box, and then the spine was the back of the box, you know, the, the middle of the box. So I found that it wasn't really, and I did it in three sections because when I made a book where it was all one piece, like some people show in their videos, it doesn't turn out right for me for some reason. So I do it in sections. So here, but the problem with this paper from Michaels, it's very thick and nice and beautiful, but it um, kept shifting off and I couldn't get it to the glue to stay. So I washi tape these in like a candy cane color for the Christmas. These ties that I use, these are stretchies. I didn't, I ordered headbands to come in, thin headbands, but they're not in yet. And these I got um, on sale at Michael's. If you take your 40% off coupon and go to Michael's, you can get these stretchies. Oh, where are they? Oh, here they are. Um, it's, this is called 
this one that I got is, is in the bead section. It's elastic cord and it comes in, it just is one continuous. I think you can buy them in special colors, but I bought this one with the different colors on it. Um, and it's nice and stretchy like the headband, like um, hair ties. So I got this with a 40% off coupon. So it ended up being, I don't know, 59 cents or something very, very inexpensive. I think it was also on sale. But you can take your regular hair ties to do this as well, as long as they're stretchy enough. And then all I did on the signatures, let's find a signature here. All I did was wrap it around and then tie it right here in a two in, in knots. Okay, and so it's nice and I can add pictures and I can also untie it and make it tighter if it's if I don't like the way it is. All right, so let's do the flip through. So anyway, so this is the cover, the front cover. And here, and I'll show you other things that I did. Now I had paper, this paper here and this green paper. These were ones that I bought in one of those Michael's um, uh, Reflections packs. And it was one you could buy, one, get two free, or it was something crazy. Some crazy, crazy deal I couldn't pass up. Um, now, I used to do creative memories. And so I did all my scrapbooking and creative memories. And so this, I used a lot of these because I thought, oh my gosh, I have all the stuff I stopped using. And I have tons of creative memory stuff because I was really into scrapbooking. And these are little cards. So these are little journaling cards that you write on and put it in your scrapbook. So what I did was I looked through my scrapbook creative memory stuff and I found, let me put that there. I found these packs that I had, that I had purchased, you see? And these are, I'm not gonna show you all of them, but these are the Creative Memories collection. So this one, so in other words, let's see, how can we look at these? Okay, this way. So you have all these different colors in here, right? Um, so that you can turn, now what I do with these is I'll just turn them and fold them like this. And now you have a cute little journaling card. And then they have these ones here, which is the ones I used is you just fold them in half and you break them apart, see? And become really cute little journaling cards. And you can write on both sides. And they're nice, it's not hard as cardstock, but not soft as paper, kind of like in between. So it makes for really nice writing. So I pulled all those out and I figured, I looked through and saw which ones would match for Christmas. So greens, reds, and silvers and golds is what I was looking for. So I have like three of these containers. Can you, that's a lot of journaling I can do with those. Um, the other thing that you saw in the cover here with this, um, oops, with this um, envelope. So this envelope from homeschooling, we used to use these kind of for our lap booking projects. And they're just little envelopes and I bought them at a homeschool convention for like 50 cents for like a whole there were more than this so it's like 50 cents I think for these and they had cute ones too like this kind you know the checkerboards and stuff like that so I pulled out the greens and some of the reds and some of these uh, checkerboard ones and then all I did since they're ready made is just glue the back and glued that on the sticker that you see here is um, from my Creative Memories sticker packs. So I found a ton of Christmas stickers from when I did my scrapbooking because Christmas is a big deal in our family. And so from during my scrapbooking days, I had lots of Christmas photos. So I have a lot of Christmas um, embellishments. I cr so this page here is a page of scratch paper. And again, I tried again to use glue. And I just don't like the way the glue ruffles my pages. But since I had already drawn on it, I said, okay, I'll try to use the glue, a regular glue like Elmer's glue or whatever, tacky glue, or um, I'll try to use it again. But again, I still didn't like it. I still don't like the way it's not smooth. And so I use rubber cement and I know a lot of people don't like rubber cement because it smells bad. And I just try to do it in a ventilated area and I quickly do it and put it away but it's the only way that I have found where I can actually have smooth surfaces. So anyway, I learned how to draw a rose. I'm horrible at drawing. 
Um, and I can do daisies and I learned how to do sunflowers since I started journaling and then I learned how to do the roses. So I was practicing my roses and these are with color pencils that I have. Um, and this is with the, the black is with my um, Tombow black pen. Um, and I have links to all of these in my in my description area if you're interested in looking at any of these ones here, but these I already had. And then this is water watercolor pencil. So you color it with the pencil and then you take a paintbrush and you paint over it. It makes it look smoother. These here are again creative memories blocks. And I had purchased bought in a lot of those. I have a little creative memories box here and where I keep them all. And I have tons of these little squares, see? different sizes and they came punched they're punched out already you just um, buy them like this um, so you can if you have a cutter I have lots of creative memories um, you know punchers so if you have a square punch you can easily make those with any scrap paper that you have laying around the house so I already had those made so I didn't have to make them and then I just decorated the the page with those this is washi tape I put on because this was an old piece of stationery from when we had a biz, uh, from our, when my husband was in Texas and we're in Florida now. And this was 20 year old paper and I didn't want to throw it away because it's nice stationery. Like it's the heavy duty stationery kind, uh, fancy stationery. And um, I didn't want to throw it away, but it had um, the old address right there. So I just covered that up with washi tape and on the other side, I just glued a piece of paper over it. Well, actually, let's look and see on the other side um, of that. I have it here. Wait, where is it? <laughs> I have here. So on the other side, see, it's this really nice paper. I just put washi tape over the letterhead. So, um, so that worked out fine. And then I glued a piece of paper on the back. All right, so then on the on the next page here is this was that piece of paper that I told you that I used right here. So I used that one piece of paper again and I put that, oh, I might have to tape that. Um, I made a little envelope here. Now this paper here on the back that you see with this red stuff, I'm gonna show you that. That was, that was free too and I already had that in my home. Um, oh, and by the way, for my washi tapes, I just collect washi tapes and all of my um, washi tapes, I keep them in the container like this and I also have a couple drawers. I have a lot of washi tape and I buy them on sale at Amazon and I also buy them, um, I bought in a few from Wish, but I find that Etsy has better deals than even Wish, even though they're probably people from Wish selling them on Etsy, but they seem to be better um, on, get better deals on Etsy wish they'll always be free but then you have to pay for shipping um and the shipping is usually three dollars so if you bought one of them um for three one of them and then you for free and you pay shipping well that's three dollars for the roll well i can get them look at this at um, hobby lobby i think i got this one for a dollar 24. um and then these and i'll just show you different ones so we'll have another video on all of that but these large ones here I got from Etsy. And so they were a dollar um a dollar each with free shipping. So that's a much better deal. Um so you just have to look, you know, sometimes if it's on Wish and I get a lot if I can make them a dollar or fifty cents to a dollar a roll, then I'll go ahead and get the free plus shipping. All right, so then for this back here. I had from the old days when I used to when we used to have to write on the computer you didn't and you'd have to print out your 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 pages and we used to use these for thank you letters for our clients or do flyers and things like that back in the day and so I have all this paper laying around I thought wow why do I want to like what could I do with it I, I don't want to throw it away really and the kids are not really that even the grandkids aren't really that interested in, in drawing on it so I figured since I was making my book the so, pretty much pretty close to the size of an eight and a half by eleven cut in half uh, folded in half so what I did was I just folded this in half and then I trimmed it to use my template and cut around so now I have these four sheets but now this paper a lot of times needs to be reinforced. You might have to put another, unless you're just journaling on it. Um, so anyway, that's another free 
thing that's just laying around the house that you can use. So that's what this paper here is. And then my bows are from my Creative Memories collection. These cards here, and I'll show you, I bought uh, these packs for 50 cents at Michael's. So these were like these really cute envelopes that I want to use. Like these are so, look how adorable those are. They're so adorable and such a pretty color. So um, they had different styles. Like they had this style, they were scalloped at like this one here with the, here I'll show you, with the scalloped edge. So these were 50 cents for a nice stack of them. And so I bought a few of those because I knew that those would be great for pockets and things. So again, here's another piece of that paper and I just made a pocket. This here is um, ribbon that I have from Christmas for Christmas wrapping. It works perfectly fine, just glue it down. This I got for like five cents after Christmas is when I get that kind of stuff. Other embellishments I used is this one is left over from a wedding journal that I made. And so I'm using that in here. And this one was at Michael's, but I used a 40% off coupon. So I think I paid $1.50 for this. These, this I paid like 10 cents for at Target or one of those places after Christmas. And not like the day after, but like after everybody's kind of like picked through stuff. You go in and you can, I think I got this for 75% off. So I got this for like 10 cents or something like crazy like that. And I'm using this pretty, I think it's very pretty. I'm using this in the journal as well. So there's that. And then this paper here behind that is this just, I have tons from homeschool, tons and tons of different color sheets of printer paper, print, uh, you know, um, this is not cardstock. I have lots of cardstock too, but this is just regular paper you put in the printer and I have tons of it. So I had this beautiful lime color, which would, and this was, I have this color in there and red. So I had all of those in there. Um, so that's this page. And so I just have these little guys here to journal on, Let's see, and then I can journal on both sides of those and put that in there. Then here's my bullet journal part, right? So I want to do my bullet journaling still. So here, I what I did was I printed out free, you can find it online, free um, printables. See, so you can find out free dot, um, dot print, dot pieces of paper with the dots, dotted paper. So this one I printed on, this is how I do my weekly, my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday ones. So you can kind of see that. And then I just cut to trim. I have my template and I put that over there and just cut it. Um, this I print as an A5, even though the book is a little smaller than an A5, I think. But I cut it, I print it on the printer as an A5. So that way it doesn't take up the whole piece of paper, right? But that's free. And I use, on this, I use 28 pound paper because it's shinier and it's it's easier to write on. I like the way, the smoothness of the writing. So that's my December calendar. And then these, again, and what I did was on these papers, you see, I just took paper, the green paper, I had so much of that green paper, you can see, and I glued these, I cut them out so I would cut these out and then I would just glue it on that piece of paper so it makes it um, stronger so and you can see I have that piece of green paper in between I don't know if, if the camera shows it really well because it's very faint there so then I have my weeklies right like this is the format that I like the best and the one I always use in all my journals I have all my bullet journals since I um, started doing this this is the only ones I use now. Um, I have tried so many different formats and this is the one I like. So now here's, um, and then here's the center. So the center piece here, I have my, have my band. And so I can move these around and they don't have to be. Now, December had two days at the end and typically what I would do for that is I would just add them on to the next month instead of wasting two sheets on two days. However, this is December. And remember, I wanted to start new in January 1st. So I don't want the 30th and 31st to be in my January planner. Um, so I'm just going to use this for my December goals. 
then I have this piece of paper again that I showed you. And um, so I have my affirmations, what you think about you bring about page. And then on the back here, this is another one of those envelopes I showed you. And so now you're looking at all the different things. So this is a Creative Memories die cut that I just cut out and put there. These are those squares that I showed you from Creative Memories that are punched out. This piece here, this beautiful, beautiful, that's so pretty. That one I did buy from Etsy. And um, I think I'll have the link in it below. But she, beautiful floral packs. And so I printed that out and I cut it with my Creative Memories antique scissors here. So these antique scissors have this kind of a cut to it. It shows you what it is here. So it's called antique. And then you cut, I cut that around to make it look just a little rougher. And glued all that in. And then I took a piece, remember those papers I showed you, so I took a piece of those and folded it in half. And there's my journaling card. And I really like the way that that one came together. My big three, you saw that already. That's that old stationery. And here's a dot, a bigger dot um, paper that I printed out and cut it. This is another pocket. And again, I have Creative Memories. This is the piece of paper that I saved from the back remember from the backs so I pretend I just cut it into like a little washi tape and I put a, the this is the creative memories and creative memories and this is the creative memories paper too and so I fold it in half and again it's just a little note card and I can put more in here it's just that I wanted it um, I wanted to see the tree um, and so then this is another pocket made out of that same piece of paper so I'm reusing I think I was able to use all of the, that green piece and I only have a teeny tiny scrap left. So that was really good use of paper. This one here is cardstock. So this is the red cardstock paper that I had and I put that in there. And I created this three pocket and this is from Shabadoo. Um, she teaches how to do that. It's really, really cool. So I'm gonna take these out so you can see with that. It's a one, two, three pocket. It's very easy to make. I'll try to link to her video below super good lady to follow. I love her. I, I follow everything she does. Create a memory sticker there. And then she, in her floral pack, this was from her floral pack, I believe. And then these are from her floral pack. It's just so beautiful. So what I did with these was I cut them out. These are little note cards she has, right? And then I glued writing paper on the back. And the writing paper that I glued was free from a hotel. So I think this was from the Shingle Resort in Orlando. And what I did was I just took their pieces of um, note paper because I went to a conference there. So we got like note paper, notes to write on. And I like to save all that paper from the hotels, all the little pads. And then you just cut them. And, and I this one, I, I say I rubber cemented this. So you can see beautifully smooth, no ridges, no glue marks. And, you know, I watch um, Shabadoo do. She uses the glue and I see her always pushing with like a credit card, but I did that too and it still doesn't work. Um, so anyway, I have two of those. So we put one here and one here. And then these are free tags that I found online. If you look up vintage free printables or something like that, you can come up with lots. And so these are a couple of little tags with reindeers and stuff on. So I can write little notes on those and you know add embellishments later on to that. Then I glued on my trackers, my habit trackers. There. I um, another thing that I love that I got from, I think I got this one from Etsy. Um, and you've seen this in my other books, but I love this, what's going on each month. This is a piece of the paper from the Creative Memories again the regular paper without it being folded. Then I took washi tape and I made a little fold out. You put washi tape on both sides to do that. This is a piece of, and here's another bow. And then this is a piece of, I think this was art paper. I believe this was a piece of art paper that I used from the dollar store. So you see, you can do this all for so little, or hardly anything. This was a piece of paper, um, dots. Uh, this is a grid piece of paper 
from my kids' school, uh, from homeschool. So we have to, I have tons of this left over because we did math on this. We did, you know, we did so much on it. Um, so I really wanted to try to use it. So I put it in here for my lead tracker. Um, here's more habits. I haven't filled in my things yet on, you know, what these are for, but I, you can see in my other videos how I use those. And then my gratitude tracker and then another piece of that. Um, and then these are old stickers from uh, Creative Memories. Creative Memories. And then I started just decorating them, these with all the different Creative Memories, um, you know, uh, stickers. So there's Creative Memories again, and then some more of my stuff. Oh, I love this mood tracker. I found this online, it's free. Can't figure out where I found it though, but I love it, so I'm gonna use it this time. Here's that paper I was telling you about that is just laying around my house and all my stationery. So we have that there, and the back side to journal on, another piece from Creative Memories that I washi taped in as a little uh, journaling. Um, this again is, uh, Creative Memories and Creative Memories die cuts and stickers. This is washi tape that I covered the page in. And then here I can add more. I'm gonna, I, it's hard to write on the dark, so that's the ones that I usually try to use other things on top of or make for envelopes because it is hard to write on. I guess I could write in white on there. Um, or I'll probably just glue some thing on there that I write. Um, and then what happens is I wanted to show you, so this is the back side, and remember the cute little envelopes that I got from the homeschool convention. So the other thing that was really cute idea was what happens when you punch out these guys, these little guys here, um, these ones here, two of those, and then they'll put like one of these big ones on there. So they'll have a bunch of the little ones and then a bigger one. Um, different sizes. So when you punch them all out, you're left with this piece. And I thought that is too cute to throw away. Like everybody probably throws them away. And I thought, you know what, I am going to make a journaling card out of it. So I took the 20 and I like to print in 28 pound, remember, for writing. Um, and so I took a, the dot grid piece of scrap because they remember I'm using a template. So I had a scratch piece of scrap paper and I glued it on there. And so I can journal here and I can journal here. Isn't that cute? I love that idea. So anyway, so I put that in there. Okay. So then there's more uh, of these pages here and I'm just decorating. This is that new washi tape. I wanted to try it out. It's really nice. It's big like that, right? This is another piece from the Creative Memories. No, this is from, I'm sorry, not Creative Memories. This is from a pack. Mm, let me grab those. It's a couple of those. I didn't, I forgot that those weren't from Creative Memories. So at Michael's, you can get these papers like this and they go on sale. And I think I got these for like, I don't know, $3.99 or something like that. And you can have, you know, different pages. So one of these, I believe, yeah, it's this one here. The Shop on the Square by Paper Studio. See, I paid $2.22 for this. And that piece of paper is inside there. There it is, okay? So all I did was take it out of my little book thing so we can I can write journal on the other side. Yeah, these are two, this was $2.24. It might have been at Hobby Lobby. It might not have been, I can't remember. But I, no, I think paper, yeah, I think that might be Michael's. And so I washi taped again, I washi taped a, a card in, and then I decorated the page with more washi tape, and then I put the, uh, that note card that I showed you from Creative Memories, turn it over, and here's another little envelope, decorated the top with those, and again, here's another piece of that paper and this one I put like um, a drawing paper behind. I have another one that I put parchment paper on. Parchment paper is really easy to draw, very nice to write on. Um, another plain piece of paper and I doubled these up and this one here I had an old piece that I tried to use make a folded envelope with and it didn't work out and I didn't want to throw the paper away. It's very thick because it was double sided and so what I did was um, I used that. I tried to 
smooth it down and then I glued it but because it was it's so big and thick I had to also washi tape it there because it kept coming up but if you look here it's a really nice pocket it's a very thick pocket so that will hold some nice things um, so here again just decorating with stickers from I wanted to use up all these stickers from creative memories so that's what I started doing on the plane you know making different little things Christmassy um, things here I just glued on the note cards on here because again it's very hard to write on the red paper decorate it more with creative memory stickers all of these are going to be down here with that I think um, let's see what this one is yeah so here's another pocket so this pocket I made with um, okay so I made that pocket with a file folder so you can take a file folders so you can take file folders I think I did, did that one with I might not that might have been with regular but I do have it in here with one of those you can take a cardstock um, and this is nice cardstock paper if you get the file folders and you can make do all kinds of things with them you don't have to go buy them they're just laying around your house so I just took this one out of our filing cabinet and used that so then I put that lace on there and I decorated and again I put the little cards in there this one here I used that um, ribbon I showed you I wanted to make it a little different look and feel than all this red and green going on so I brought in the silver this I made with um, parchment paper so I folded it and and I made a double envelope double envelope there so this one here has parchment paper on the back so it just sticks right in there like that and then these little guys the little tags can go right there See, that's so cute some more embellishments with the uh, creative memories lots of I like that one there that's really nice there's a very uh, shiny compared to washi tape so it's a little different look and feel from all the washi tape again remember that piece of paper that we keep using this was another piece of scratch paper um, this was one of those creative memories and I just folded it in half this way so you can write on both sides decorated the page just added you know some extra color like that to it this one here is made with the file folder so what I did here was I cut it down so we could have two uh, two piece two envelopes this is washi tape at the top and then this I made with the nice parchment paper so nice it's very nice to write on especially if you like to use these um, oops these micron these graphic illustrator markers I get these from Amazon but these are really nice and Tombow's work really nice on here as well so those kind of pens and the sharpie uh, sharpie ones are work really well as well so then I just put that in the back there and then this is another card that I made from that Etsy pack I told you about where I put the um, hotel paper pad on the back for writing lines and so I can write in here maybe the date or something and then I can write something about it there and here is more decorations and then this is the center of that signature and I haven't finished so here I did a belly band um, which kind of hard is hard for me I it, I just didn't know if I liked it to not be um, to be so loose I find that the belly bands are a little bit loose they don't seem to be as tight as the ones I see on YouTube videos so I don't know you know what I'm doing wrong I layered those blocks for the decorations here so that this page looks really nice and I can put whatever I want in there but for the time being I just put um, these note cards in there but you know we can put whatever we want later on and you, it, it'll fit a lot more journaling cards in there too and then this one here is a um, with the other piece with another piece of this was a piece of just cardstock that I had laying around so I made this uh, it's called a corner tuck um, and then I decorated here and I made some more of these really pretty uh, printed out more of these really pretty and oh, they're just so pretty um, from Shabadoo that's Shabadoo she has an Etsy store and so and then I just tuck those in there and I, maybe eventually since I'm kind of weird about it I might 
I don't like the way they stick up right there. So maybe what I'll do is just have maybe just one in there, or maybe I will oh, like that. Maybe they'll go like that. And then if not, I might just put something else in there later on. It's not sure I like it like that. Um, and so then I just decorated some more of these pages and that's where I stopped. So I have a few more here to do. I'll add some more like envelopes and things like that. Here's, oh, here at the end here, I did a, another belly band here. And this was the one that was really loose for some reason. So it might just be because the paper is too thin. Um, and so I made some more, just some more of these little things to stick in there. And then at the end of the book, which those, I have to finish those, I have another, like a pocket here. Oops, I should probably cut the pocket a little bit down. It's kind of tight, but there's a little pocket there at the end. Now I just have to figure out what I want to tie it with after I'm all done so that it doesn't all fall apart. But it seems to, look, it seems to hold up really nicely. I like the way that it's standing up. Um, and as you know, it gets fatter and as I add like stuff that I want to save during that month and put more pictures in there of my kids and grandkids and stuff, then, you know, it's probably going to stand up better even. It's not quite perfectly even, but that's okay. I don't stand it up, right? I stand it up on my bookshelf like this, but that's going to be, and it's going to be rum, but I just put it between two things. But then we have these problems, so we'll have to pull these over to the side up here so that it'll stand up better. But anyway, right now, sitting down, it looks really beautiful. So um, hopefully that helps you. To These are the strips that I had from Creative Memories. Um, found lots of them. See, so they're even discolored because they're so old. But why throw them away when you can reuse them? And my habit trackers, like I told you, I print on 28 pound paper, A5 size, and cut them out so you can use them. This is the uh, parchment paper. So if you have that laying around from any school, any projects with your kids, um, this, oh, this was from Weston Hotels. This is the ones I was using um, to use and cut out uh, for the backs, which makes it really nice to, it has, it's nice smooth paper. This is that dot paper and you can cut it out and use it. I can still make another, probably another note card there with it or maybe two of them. So you're not wasting anything. And then these are those print-free printables I found online. Purple, it was purple, blue, and this gold color of this vintage tags it's with the reindeer on it for Christmas kind of thing. So you can print those out on cardstock and use those. And if you don't have cardstock, print them out on regular paper and glue them if your printer can't use the cardstock or whatever, glue them onto other pieces of harder paper that you have laying around your house. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Make sure you subscribe to my video channel, like this video, um, and click the little button above for notifications. So that way, the next time I do have a video, um, you'll be able to watch it with me. Thanks, bye.